Hi, welcome to the third episode of Erlang Embedded. Um, in the previous video, uh, we mentioned that we would be looking at distributed Erlang um, on this video, but we haven't received our extra Raspberry Pis yet, so we thought we would play around a bit more with concurrency. And today I have Ed, for, also from Erlang Solutions, with me. Hello. He has prepared a cool demo for us, uh, pushing the limits on the Pi. So without further ado, Ed, take it away. Hey, so last episode, Amir said Erlang was good at spawning processes, and today we're going to demonstrate how many processes we can get away with spawning on the Raspberry Pi in reality. So the demo consists of spawning a ring of processes, which we call relays, and passing a token around the ring a hundred times. Um, so here you can see that the token is passed. In this slide you can see the token being passed from the initial process to the next, and so on. Um, each, time the, each time the token completes a full revolution, we toggle the LED state. So if the LED is on, we turn it off, and vice versa. In the previous video, Amir showed the LED module which used a sleep in order to blink. Um, here the LEDs blink at the rate of two full revolutions around a ring. Um, so to begin with, we will spawn four token rings, which correspond to the four LEDs on our breadboard. The red LED represents the rate of revolution of a token ring of size 1000, which means 1000 processes uh, will be spawned and the token will need to complete 100 revolutions before terminating. The blue LED represents 10,000 processes, the green 25,000 and the white 100,000. So here's what it looks like uh, when we run the demo. We also attached a uh, logic analyzer to the output pins of the Raspberry Pi to see the toggling rates of the pins. Uh, and here's the waveform we observed. Um, you can see that the first row, uh, i.e. the first uh, process ring, um, toggles at a very uh, quick rate because it only has to send messages to uh, a thousand processes, whereas the last one has to send messages uh, through 100,000 processes, therefore it's a lot slower. Um, these run concurrently, so we have observed that uh, once the execution of one ring was complete, uh, the message passing rate at other uh, concurrent rings was much faster, um, and this is uh, clearly demonstrated by the last row, i.e. the last ring. Uh, you can see it toggling at a much faster rate than it started. So thanks for watching, um, do get in touch with us if you're interested. Uh, you can uh, find the code that we have used for the demo at the GitHub repository linked below. Um, until next time, cheers! cheers.